Hey Manny, uh, we spoke about five minutes ago on the phone and I know we can't see each other for a test drive until next week. But in the meantime, I thought I'd send you a little video on this uh, Titan crew cab that I have here. Um, we talked about your job and that you need a lot of flexibility because you're a contractor and you're on site a lot. So I picked this one because I think this has all the features that you would need and then some to be able to have a mobile office and to be able to haul stuff around. It's a, as you can see, this is a really muscular looking truck, but it's not all about looks, it's about what's going on underneath. This has a fully boxed in, full length ladder frame for rigidity and strength. So let's take a little look around the outside. On the front here, you've got dual tow hooks, rear, front sonar and rear sonar as well. Fog lights built in, step rails, tow mirrors that we can pull out and in, and they are split mirrors as well with blind spot warning indicator built into the mirror. So let's take a look under the bonnet. Five point six liter V eight, three hundred and ninety horsepower, three hundred and ninety four foot pounds of torque. Timing chain, not a belt, so that won't need replacing for the life of the engine. Runs on regular gas, five thousand miles between oil changes. Uh, it purrs like a kitten, and as I mentioned before, it's part of the five year, one hundred thousand mile bumper to bumper warranty. All right, moving around to the back, let's take a look at the bed five and a half foot bed this has the tow package on it four pin adapter seven pin adapter rear sonar rear view monitor and check this out lovely smooth as silk in the back you've got spray on bed liner tie down cleat rails on the sides and the back and here this is designed to keep the uh, junk out of your your rails over here you've got a 110 plug outlet, you've got LED lighting underneath here as well, and you've got LED lighting on the back that you can turn that on and off as and when necessary. And this is really easy to lift, look at that. So let's look in the back first. Obviously, as you can see, there's an enormous amount of space in here. You've got a 110 outlet over here, you've got rear air vents, you've got a center armrest with cup holders, plus you've got two cup holders on each side in the doors and an incredible amount of flexibility with this seating. We can either drop this down 60-40 split for stacking things here. Uh, if we don't want to do that, we can pop these up and in here you have a lockable storage area on both sides. Plus you've also got this, which is very cool if you need to be stacking some boxes on here and need it to be flat. And then that just folds away as simply as that. Pull on this tab, done. All right, so this is going to be your office during the day when you're on site. So you need a lot of space for working out of in some comfort. So you've got a very large center armrest here, which is big enough to take a laptop. And if you look in here, down on this side, uh, it's deep enough to take a 15 inch laptop. There's also a power outlet in here. There's two more power outlets, one over here and one over here. And this one, interestingly, is live the whole time, even when the engine is off, which is great. Over here, we've got storage, as you can see, for iPads. I've got them on both sides. And then I've got a lot of storage in here. So if I take my cup holders out, massive amount of storage for whatever else you might want to put in there. Okay, so uh, your gear shifter is now on the steering column. Uh, you have seven speed transmission here that you can change your gears from here. You also have a tow mode, and the tow mode is going to adjust how it changes gear when you're towing heavy weights. Uh, and talking of heavy weights, uh, this will tow 9,730 pounds, and that equates to 139 sheets of half-inch drywall. Well, Manny, I hope this helps you to make a decision with your next vehicle, and I know there is a lot of choice of vehicles out there. Um, I look forward to seeing you next week, but if you have any questions,